what's happening, what to do, my people. I feel like it's been forever since I did one of these, and I've been procrastinating on this because I've been had this for a couple days, and I've been wearing it every day, trying to get my thoughts for this review on it. And what this is is Sean John, unforgivable, and he unforgivable for talking to his uh, son, woman, Lori Harvey. He kind of wrong for that, but anyways. I got this fragrance in, and I want to check it out. Uh, wearing it the past few days, the opening on it is obscene, obnoxious. I'm I wasn't a fan of the, of the the opening. I was like, oh, I'm damn, why I bought this? Then after it dries down and stuff, it's it's all right. To me, it comes off maybe a little dated, a little dated. It has that like. Just cologne type smell, like, but it has like a little incense -y type type of vibe to it. Uh, to me, like on skin when it dries down a lot. I don't know for some reason it make me think of like almonds or something. Like whenever it warms up a little bit and, it, and you have it on for a while, but it does perform pretty good. It ain't like a performance monster, but it does perform good. Cause I had it on today and I went shoot ball and I was like dripping this sweat. And I, I was smelling it while I was I was sweating and stuff. And I, I had it on for a while before that. So the performance is pretty good, man. I, I would get like at least a good a good seven hours at least. But uh, get to a little little bit of the, the particulars of this fragrance. Unforgivable by, by Sean John is an aromatic fougere fragrance for men. Unforgivable was launched in 2006. Unforgivable was created by David Appel, Pierre Negrin, Arena, blah, 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 blah. Top notes are birch leaf, green mandarin, tangerine, juniper, basil, bergamot, grapefruit, and Sicilian lemon. Middle notes are iris, lavender, and clary sage. Base notes are tonka bean, amber, Australian sandalwood, rum, and cashmere wood. This perfume is the winner of the award, Fifi Award Fragrance of the Year, Men's Lux, 2007. Well, that's good. I can maybe get like a little bit. I can see maybe that rum, especially like the opening and stuff. Like cause the opening is like, I like got a strong, a strongness to it. A strong, just, uh, I don't have it on now. I put on a uh, Nautica uh, Voyage, Voyage Heritage. Because I've been had this on for like two days straight. And I just got tired of smelling it. But give it a little. Like the, they're opening it, it smells like alcohol. Not rubbing alcohol, but it smells like alcohol. Like, like maybe that's why I did I wasn't too fond of it. Maybe that's because I don't drink. I don't like alcohol. I hate alcohol. So maybe that's why I'm not like super crazy about it, especially the opening. The open is, I, it does make sense because it does smell like the alcohol, but then it sweetens up. I can see that grapefruit, the grapefruit and stuff, but it, it comes off like incense type to me. But the grapefruit, I can, I can see that. Lemon, a, a little bit in the back, a little bit in the background. That's crazy how you can read something and then you start like noticing things because I noticed the grapefruit, like the lemon, I didn't really notice that. But now like looking into it, I can... I could smell a little bit of that. Now it's starting to smell like kind of like some pine salt or something. I don't know. It never smelled like that before until I read the stuff. That's crazy. But I'm not like super crazy about this one. I think I, off hearsay, I heard a lot of people talking talking about this one like, oh, the Unforgivable and stuff. And I have 3 a.m. by Sean John. So I was like, damn, I love, I like 3 a.m. So if Unforgivable is better, let me let me check that out. I'd rather 3 a.m. 3 a.m. It has a nice warm of citrus to it. I really like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is dope. This right here seems uh, seems a little dated. I'm aware. I'm aware. See, and it was only uh I think I paid nine dollars for this. It's a one millimeter, so that's not bad. That's not bad. A one millimeter, milliliter. Uh, what is? It? I think it's like 30. No, one ounce. One ounce. So I think it's like 30 milliliters or something. So it's not bad. It's, it's a good little good little uh amount, I guess. I could be wrong. I think it's 30. Oh well. But uh I would give it I would give it about 
about a 6.5 out of 10. About a 6.5 out of 10. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say this is a must-have. If this is a something that's gonna a panty drop or anything, is it what what occasion? Maybe like a night out for for dinner and and wine and something like that. If you into that kind of thing, I could see it like in in a in like a formal event setting, maybe something like that. But like casual wear and just chilling. You a urban young brother, unless you're wearing like a suits and shit like that. But if you just chilling, man. You would you would tug, you would tug, and you just trying to holler at something. I don't think this is gonna be the one, brother. I don't think the girl's gonna be like. Oh, you smell like that? Unforgivable. Nope. <laughs> it's aight. It's aight. But shit, that is my thoughts on this. I have some other stuff coming. I try to be quicker on those. I try to take my time with this, man. Try to do something different. Because sometimes I'll make a review on something, and then like a few days later, I'll notice things with the fragrance I didn't, or I'll like it more, or I'll like it less. So I try to take my time with this one. Mm, I didn't necessarily need to. <laughs> but like, comment, subscribe to be the greatest of the most hated man. How let your boy? Peace out.